Hi everyone, this is Brett from Link Digital. Um, today I'm going to show you how to install CCAN um, using the package method. We've, um, we've already seen um, how to install uh, CCAN with the source method and um, or from source and also with Docker, Docker Compose. So now we're going to choose the, um, the package. So let's get started. I'm just following the documentation that's all available online. And um, I have a brand new Ubuntu uh, 20.04 virtual machine I've just created. And um, so let's get started. So the first thing we do is, as we normally do with pretty much any installation of our system software, is we need to update the package manager. Okay, so there's extra things that it needs to know about. Um, okay, so we need to install some packages, system packages. Um, we need to install Nginx, uh, Supervisor, the Redis server, and libpq5. Let's do that. Okay, that's done. Now the next thing we do is we need to install the uh, the Debian package file specific to this version of Ubuntu. So we see that we're installing Focal, the Focal though, which is um, twenty point zero four, and also uh, Python three. We're going to get we're installing Python three here. So um, let's install that. Okay, so there's a problem accessing using uh, accessing software out using wget, which I've had before. There's another way to do that, um, and instead of using wget, we will use curl, which normally works. So curl minus capital O, and then the URL of the Debian package. Okay, so that looks like it's on the way. Great. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now uh, we have the package file here that we are going to use. I'm going to install um, the package now um, using the dpackage utility. And that just unpacks the file, puts it in its proper location. All the configuration, CCAN configuration files and puts them all in the right um, locations. Um, okay, so the next thing we do is we need to install the database system software and that's the PostgreSQL package which we also need to install with the source CCAN installation. Right, so that's done. Um, we're going to create the user. Great, and we are now going to create the database. Okay, using that user, using that user I've just created. So we've created the, um, the CCAN underscore default database, and the owner of that database will be the CCAN underscore default user that we just created. So we can have a we can actually run the PC called minus L command to see 
the databases and includes the new one, which is this one here, the CCAN default database owned by the CCAN default user. Okay, so that's the database done. Next thing we do is uh, we we have to run solar. We have to install solar. Um, now this has changed recently, and um, I'll show you a little bit of the documentation here. It talks about that. Now we've installed CCAN, the package. We've installed the database software. Now the next thing we do is install solar. There are two methods to install solar. Um, we can install it using Docker, or we can install it using, well, just manually. And we're going to choose the manual version um, for this video. So um, you, we need to get hold of um, um, solar version 8.0. Uh, something and um, <clears throat> excuse me I've already done that and I've copied it onto this VM and I've put it in slash TMP so we see it down here so let's un zip and untar that and I'm just going to put it in my um, home directory for this exercise. There's better places to put it than my home directory for sure. Um, but it, for this, is, it's, it's fine to go here. So now we'll see we have, <coughs> excuse me, uh, a solar dash 8.11.1 uh, directory under here. And um, we're going to cd into into that directory and we're going to run um, we're going to start solar using this command solar start under slash bin or under bin and um, then we'll be able to see that running our solar runs within a, a, a JDK, a Java uh, runtime environment. And we see it here, this process, um, which is open JDK 8. Okay, so solar's running. Now the next thing we do is we need to run this command <clears throat> which will create the what's called the new core for CCAN uh, Okay, so that worked okay um, now the next thing we do is we need to get hold of the schema file and we need to put it in a special location and rename it as well. So with the schema file um, we would normally use wget but this wget is not working on this so we're going to use curl again and um, grab that, that file which is schema.xml which we see here. So I've grabbed the schema.xml file. Now I'm going to move that schema file and during the with the move command I'm going to uh, rename it to and I'll show you what I, how I do that. So we're going to move the schema file into this directory structure here under conf and we're going to rename it uh, manual schema which is the name that it really needs to be so that's we'll just see that that's there and there it is there okay so that's fine right now the next thing we do is we need to restart solar
which is just restarting the JDK and it will pick up the new um, the new managed schema file for the CCAN core. Okay, so that looks fine. Now the next thing we do is we're going to go to the um, CCAN configuration directory and we see all our some of our configuration files in here. Now the, the most important one and the one we're going to change right now is um, the ccan.ini file which is the, the main ccan configuration file that's used. And we need to update a couple of uh, parameter names here. Now the first thing we do is we need to change the um, the password for the database connection and by putting in what we actually um, put in before for the data when we created the database. Okay, so that's done. Save. Next thing we do is we need to um, put in the site URL, which I'm going to. 127.0.0.1, which is localhost. Save that. Should be fine, just for this purpose, so it should be fine. Now, the next thing is we need to just check that the site ID is there, that's important, and also the Solar URL. And the Solar URL will need to be changed. To that so the ports think the same but um, we need to add we need to have the URI as, as solar slash ccan okay so I think that's all we need to do now we need to go to using and default and if we're going to just I'm not even sure if I even need to do this but I will anyway activate uh, uh, Python virtual environment just in case which basically just changes our path so we can um, access this ccan command here before any other ones that might be on the system okay so that's done now the next thing we do is when you're going to initialize the database here like that Great, so we're after this string here, um, initializing database success, which we got, which is great, because often we have problems here if nothing's quite, if nothing's set up perfectly. All right, so <clears throat> we're gonna restart the supervisor. Uh, we already have supervisor um, up and running and configured, but we need to restart it to pick up um, the changes that we've put in um, as far as the configuration file when we um, unpack that Debian package and we can check the status and it's up and running already that's great so next thing we do is we kind of restart um, Nginx up the the new configuration as well and we see nginx running up again okay so the next thing we do 
is we're going to just check to make sure this should be all we need to do to have uh, a CCAN running. So I will log into my virtual machine locally and um, I should be able to I've installed a Chromium uh, web browser here which is pretty slow um, because it's running as a virtual machine on my Mac OS machine. Okay, so the so next thing we do is we want to, oh, we can check solar out, make sure the yeah, solar looks fine. We um, just kind of, is it solar admin or is that solar admin? I don't know, that was solar admin before, I think. Yeah, so we can see how what solar looks like. The Cyrus properties and things. Well, this is basically just looking at the the JVM. Anyway, so what we'll do now is we'll try and access CCAN. And there we have it. So CCAN is up and running, and we installed CCAN. Um, using the package method. So I hope you found this um, straightforward. Um, it's a it's a good way to if you don't want to install CCAN using the source method, it's a good way to have everything up and running, running within an Nginx server and um, it's fairly robust. So thanks for watching. Bye.